handling over 5 million parcels a day, close to 1 billion international shipments a year. The sprawling network of Deutsche Post DHL Group spans the globe. With the pandemic, it also means the CEO has to manage the crisis all over the world. Frank Apple spoke to me from Bonn, Germany through Skype. It is not a recession in a normal way. There is really discontinuity. Uh, that means things are changing so rapidly. People have been in lockdown. We have seen a massive drop in consumer demand. And that's very different from other crises as we have seen before, and, and that needs new answers somehow. The coronavirus crisis raised headwinds for the Global Express mail and logistics giant early in the outbreak. We know the pandemic started in China. Do you remember the early weeks of the outbreak in China and the impact on your operations there? How did you react? Of course, we remember that, and we reacted probably in the same way to SARS. Um, we probably had been more proactive at the beginning. Yes, we said, OK, we have to secure the health of our people in China. Uh, we have to watch how trade flows will work. But, you know, if I'm honest, we probably have not anticipated that it will spread so rapidly. We felt probably more it's like SARS. It can be contained in the region and the rest will go on. And if you reflect on what, what happened to the capital market, it was the same, you know, the, the stock market was still booming. What we actually did is we started to introduce for our IT service centers, which one is in Malaysia, uh, um, you know, an AB split or red and blues team split straight from the beginning because we said the IT service centers are very important, the data centers are very important and therefore we have to protect it. Frank Apple has seen lots of turbulence, from the time he revamped the group when he became CEO to dealing with a global financial crisis. But nothing prepared him and many others for the scale of the coronavirus outbreak. Actually, I traveled myself to Davos and in Davos nobody felt at all that there's a danger for a pandemic, interestingly enough. In the first quarter, the bellwether for the logistics industry took a $216 million hit to earnings due to the coronavirus, but it still remained profitable. As a global logistics player, how big of a challenge was it to operate under shutdowns and quarantines? If I look back, it was surprisingly easier than expected. Um, you know, the focus from the beginning was that we created a task force under my own leadership with the operational heads in February. And what we did, we said, OK, what we have to do is we have to line our activities in the respective countries following the governmental um, you know, rulings uh, or recommendations. And they were different from day one in the countries. And then we adapted our measures. Um, we have gone through that amazingly well, I have to say. The energy level, the commitment of our people has been terrific. They felt from the beginning, and this is what we hear from our colleagues, that we put health and safety first, then second are the service quality, and never in the other way around. And, and that has engaged them. Also keeping the group on track, its dedicated fleet of 260 freighter aircraft. We have a competitive advantage without a doubt that we control so many cargo airplanes. Uh, you know, the, since there is no intercontinental travel, there is a massive shortage on belly space capacity and we see the benefits. We have seen financial impact at the beginning as well. We see now increasing demand, fortunately, around the world, not only in China, but also in Europe and the US. And of course, if you control 250 plus white bodies, you know, that gives you a competitive edge also for our air freight business. So that has worked very well. And of course, since we have a long lasting relationship with many carriers, uh, we get, you know, better control of additional capacity than some of our competitors. So that has worked very well and to, to our advantage. Of course, you know, we have lower volumes as well and therefore financial numbers will be impacted. But overall, relatively to many others, we have done very well, in particular because we control so many aircrafts. 